Hey guys, I am back at it again with another video. And for this video, I'll be talking anime again. So I thought I'd do an anime list of like some animes that I've watched and that I like and so it can inspire you guys and if you like them you can watch them too. I put them in categories so uh, just so it would be a little bit more I guess like easier for me. The first category is my favorite ones and my first anime that I have written down is One Piece. Now One Piece, it, I'm trying to make these as a little bit of description because I could talk about all these animes for hours so I'm gonna just give a non-detailed description about it. One Piece is about a 17 year old boy named Luffy who travels around the world to try to find a treasure named One Piece. He wants to become the Pirate King and to do so he travels around the world, gets into adventures and gathers a pirate crew, a very Pirate crew feel with like eccentric characters and they get into all kinds of adventures and um, and get into like mishaps and I love this anime. I there is a abundance of the episodes. There's about 700 if you choose to watch it sub. And I'm not even done with it, but I love this anime. I it's one of my favorites. Fairy tale. Now you probably heard like a whole bunch of people talk about fairy tale because it's such a good anime. It follows around a girl named Lucy who wants to be a part of a wizard guild, part of a wizard guild named Fairy Tale, and uh, it just you know shows like her life there. You know what's it like to be in this guild, how powerful the guild is, but it mostly revolves around like one of the main other main characters, Natsu. And you come for Lucy, you stay for Natsu, you know what I mean? He's just one of like, I don't know, he's just, he's just the most adorable character. So you, you come for Lucy, you, you stay for Natsu, that's just it. One Punch Man. Now, there's only one season of this, but it is such a good anime. I, I had to put it in my favorites because it's such a good anime. It's a story about a man named Saitama who is a hero for fun. He is a bald egghead and he can defeat anybody in one punch. Now, I recommend this so much. It's, that's why it's in my favorite. How could it not be in my favorite? And I, I really think that other people should watch it because it's such a good anime. Next one is Kill a Kill. I'm not recently watching this one because it's been over. I watched this like a while ago, but it's still in my favorites because it's it's such a good story. It has such a good story to it. Kill a Kill is about a girl named Ryuko who goes home one day to find her dad stabbed in the chest with a big pair, or half a big pair of scissors. So she wants to avenge her father and find this killer. So she thinks, if I find the other half of the scissors, then I'll find the killer. So she goes to a school where she thinks the killer is, and you know she gets into like dangerous situations and has to fight people and it's such a good anime and uh, the really like best part about it is that she has like this outfit super under boob super under boob it's just like it's out there and then with the help of her outfit Senketsu Ryuko and Senketsu become an unstoppable team on the lookout for her father's killer the next genre I picked is horror and this was kind of uh, I just picked like one that has a lot of like blood in it and kind of like a scary undertone to it. So, uh, here we go. Tokyo Ghoul. Now, the only reason I watch this one is because my sister literally begged me to, and I do not, I'm not mad at her for making me watch this. I love this anime. And this anime revolves around the main character named Kaneki, or Kaneki, whichever one you want to pronounce it. Kaneki is really bland, he's kind of boring, you know, kind of like the average, not that, nothing really special to him. So one day he goes off on a blind date with a girl who, you know, it's just a blind date. And he didn't know, but the girl is a ghoul. And in this story, ghouls are kind of like monsters, they eat humans to stay alive. So he finds out that she's a ghoul, she tries to kill him. They they both get hurt, 
but the girl dies and he lives so they take her organs out of her and put them in Kaneki and he becomes half ghoul. And the story just mostly revolves around him, you know, trying not to let his friends find out that he's a ghoul, trying to, to control his hunger of being a ghoul while simultaneously holding on to his humanity as a human. So it just kind of shows, you know, like those kind of aspects of it. And mm, A1, this, this anime is A1. Next one is Mary Nikki. I may be saying that wrong, but it's also called The Future Diary or Future Diary revolves around a boy named Yuki and he's mostly focused on the outer world than himself you know he stays on his phone talking about what happens to other people and what other people are doing besides himself so one day he has a dream about a god and um, he just thinks that it's like it's just um, it's just a dream but it's not he finds himself in a game of survival of the fittest and he's in this game and he has to kill everybody else and the last one standing becomes the god of time and space. And he teams up with a girl named Yuno and them two become an unstoppable team killing everybody. In oh my gosh, it's just a really good anime and there's a lot of blood but everything is not what it seems in this anime. There is so many plot twists in in unexpected things that will happen. You think it's about one thing, they turn around and make it about something else. It's it's such a good anime. It will mess with your mind, but in the end, it will be so worth it because it's it's a good one. It's really good. Yes. Next one is Black Butler. Ooh. Now, I recently just watched this one. Um, took me like a day, two days to watch it, and it was such a good anime. Love it. This one revolves around a, a, a young boy named CL who summoned a demon to be his butler. Sebastian. They're looking for CL's parents' murders while also solving crimes for the Queen of England. I could not help but ship them together. I don't care. I go down with the ship. This anime was dark and it, it was it was gory and oh my gosh the story is so amazing so if you're kind of a horror fan I didn't even expect that was gonna be but there was more than like one in this horror section so I was like oh like my sister she loves horror animes so yeah recommend 100% such a good anime <clears throat> next one is attack on Titan I know I know don't say it shh, 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 shh. I know I had trouble putting it in the horror or putting it in my favorites but you know I was thinking there's a lot of blood in it you know people getting torn apart you know why not put it in the horror one so it's in the horror one now don't don't tell me anything I already know I get it yeah I get it in this world this universe there's these things called titans and they're big like they look like the inside of humans like muscles and they have a wall so one day all these titans knock down that wall and in the ruckus of all of that, in the aftermath, Aaron comes home to find his mother dead. So he pledges his life to um, killing all Titans. Aaron then joins the Survey Corps, who are a group of people who destroy the Titans. He joins them to avenge his mother, along with two of his best friends, Armin and Mikasa. The last section of my thing is the recommended, what I recommend most, but I can also also slash it and call it the romantic section because I just looked over it and all these are romantic. What? I'm a I'm a hopeless romantic. Judge me, yes. The first one is John Jao Romantica. And uh, I stumbled over this anime totally by like because I was just done with one anime, I was just like, let me just pick a random one. And I clicked one, and it was this, and I love it. I just watched it again, oh, over again, just like a couple days ago. So, obviously, I like it. It's good. And this one revolves around three couples. And it's just, my favorite one is the main one. It's uh, Usagi-san and Misaki. And this is BL. This is, this is boys these are two boys okay so if you're not into that don't even you don't you don't need to do it you don't need to do it me you know how much I like yaoi yes it just revolves around them trying to um, maintain the relationships and 
um, trying to get to know each other more, and oh my gosh, this. Mm, mm, <laughs> um, I'll tell you what the main character is about, and you can figure out the other two because, like, I'm not really really about it. Saki and Uyusan are two boys, so. Um, they meet because Uisan used to be in love with Misaki's brother, but as um, Misaki's brother gets married and moves away, um, them two kind of form a relationship, and it's kind of difficult because first of all, they're two boys, and also um, Uisan is kind of older than Misaki, so you know it's Misaki dealing with his kind of like his um, feelings about having an older person, having him look after him, but he did, he, would, he, wants, he wants to be independent. He doesn't want to have to depend on this person. And so he, so it's about him figuring out his feelings and it's on figuring out his feelings and there's twists and there's turns and there's love and it's so cute. I love you so much. Next one is Lovely Complex. I we, we watched this again because it was so good. I could not tell you how much I love this anime. When I found it, this was a gem. It was a diamond in the rust. I can't believe I found an anime like this. And this anime revolves around two characters named Ryza and Otani. And they are kind of the comedy duo of the whole school, you know? They, they bicker with each other, they fight with each other, they make these really hilarious faces that just kill me and uh, you know nobody ever takes them seriously but one day Reza you know she she figures out that she kind of likes Otani but you know he won't like her because he can't see her as a girlfriend he just sees her as like a comedy partner so it's mostly her trying to figure out her feelings and trying to get him to like her and him you know like figuring out his feelings and it's so cute I cannot I could not not rewatch this. I could not not rewatch this. As a, a girl is really, really tall and Otani, a boy, is really, really short, so they think that they can't be together because, you know, of their height differences. Next on my list is Oran High School Host Club. Now, this story revolves around a girl named Hari. Prop saying that name wrong. One day, she just wants to find a place that is quiet for her to study. So she goes into a room and accidentally breaks a very expensive vase. Now that vase and the room belongs to a group of boys. And for her to pay back the money for the vase, they say that she has to join the host club that they have. And the reason they let her join the host club is because they think that she's a boy. The story is just very adorable, very cute very funny and gradually throughout the story they start realizing that she is a girl keep her secret because they they want her to stay in the host club and can we just say that Haruhi is she she, she doesn't care of what gender you call her she's gender fluid people represent this one is B get a HK or Yamada's first time I just rewatched this one. I rewatched a lot of the animes I've already watched. So this one revolves around a 15-year-old girl named Yamada, and she wants to lose her virginity, but she's afraid because she doesn't like the way her vagina looks. Relatable, relatable, and. She wants to have a hundred sex friends, you know, a whole bunch of people to have sex with, but she can't do that because she's afraid that they will make fun of her vagina. So she says that she wants to lose her first time to a virgin, so because they don't know what one looks like and they won't judge her for it. And she meets Kosara, and he is a virgin. And they didn't realize it before, but they're in the same class. So it's mostly, the story just revolves around Yamada trying to seduce Kusada to have sex with him. But you know, she, she, in the end, she really doesn't just want his virginity, she wants him. It's such a funny anime, it's such a good anime. It's, it's relatable to high school life, and I am Yamada. Mostly just revolves around them two figuring out the relationship, and Yamada figuring out that you know, her feelings for him. It's not just sexual. And it's such a good anime. Recommend 100%. Next one is Golden Time. Now, if I could re recommend this anime a hundred times, I would do it a thousand times because 
this story this story is such a good one it it had me crying it had me throwing things it wanted me to toss my computer over here and be like why why did you do this to me this story revolves around a boy named Tata Bandy and years before he was in an accident where he lost his memory soon after that or like a couple years after that he meets Aga Coco and they fall in love you know they start dating they like each other but then Bandy starts regaining his memory back from before the accident and as doing so he's forgetting Kaga and he's forgetting his memories and his love for Kaga and can you understand that this had me in so much tears you know it's just her trying to figure out how to keep him from forgetting that she exists and him trying to not tell her that he's losing her, his memory but oh my god everything just ah, everything's just out of control Boom! I did it! I'm done! That was animes that I watch and I suggest you watch too because I don't suggest trash people like pfft. like this video or if you watch any of these animes, which are some sucks. I like making anime videos because I am an anime junkie. The number of animes I've watched is infinite. And I'll see you guys next week. Stay good.